So we are on the outskirts of Boston and this is a spiral wine cellar. We actually started this project in pre-construction, met with the client, and I jokingly asked if they like wine. They looked at me and said, no, but why? Um, I had a picture of a spiral wine cellar in my phone saved under kind of like my dream house, one day I can afford this, you know, blah, blah, blah. And they fell in love with it. So we immediately started the process of looking into who can install these, where they're fabricated. These units are fabricated over in the UK. They're shipped across sea up to Canada to genuine wine cellars. They then basically prep this thing in their shop, drive it down here to Boston. And for about seven days, they spend their time installing this. So why don't we hop down into the bottom of this thing and we can talk about the steps it took to get this wine cellar installed in this home and just what we have in store for this project because obviously this kitchen behind us is not going to pair well with a wine cellar like this. All right, so first off, they claim that this can fit two people comfortably, which is true, just not two people, one with a camera. Once we basically work through all the detailed shop drawings and figure out just how big this unit was, we actually partially excavated the basement. I say partially because we cut the slab and we had to excavate down about three feet to get our full height. There's full excavating ones, so if you're, say, if you're on a slab, this entire thing would be subterranean. In this case, we are looking to be flush with the kitchen floor and we have an unfinished basement below, so that's where the partial excavation comes into play. After excavation, we're basically hands off. Genuine takes over. They start with a concrete slab, setting their benchmark for a finished floor elevation. And then from there, all of these pieces of precast concrete and they stack almost as if they were Legos all the way up, working your way up with the steps and these cubbies, which will eventually hold 1800 plus bottles of wine. There's a lot of technical side of what this cellar is, it's actually refrigerated. So there's an entire refrigeration unit. Um, it's also fully insulated and protected from outside moisture. So I mentioned that this could be totally subterranean. We want to protect that if there was groundwater. Um, this is all self-contained. And the cherry on top is that glass door. So this is one of the upgraded versions, circular glass, and it's a hydraulic piston on one side that lifts up and out of the way. We're doing an entire kitchen renovation and we started with this because this was such a prominent feature. We want to make sure that this got right. So after this video, we're going to totally protect this thing. It's going to get wrapped up like a Christmas present while we do the rest of the renovation. And then once we're done, we'll uncover it. We'll have a completed kitchen.